There's only one type of game that almost every gamer can agree upon, and that's an open world game. In this video, I'm going to show you some gameplay from 18 upcoming open world games, listed in order from soonest release to latest. If you enjoy this video, consider leaving a like or subscribing. I release videos daily, with a video like this once or twice a week. Alright, enough of the spiel, let's get onto the list. Spider-Man If you've never played a good Spider-Man game before, then you haven't truly lived yet. The thrill of swinging through New York City almost feels real as you play, and the newest game about your favorite web-slinger looks to be just as amazing. Set eight years after Peter Parker gets bit, you play as an experienced Spider-Man who must protect the city at any cost while also taking time to have a little bit of fun. It swings in exclusively to PS4 this September 7th. He's some kind of spider cop! You know what cops don't do? Escalate things! But no, not Spider-Man! He runs around causing chaos, wearing a mask and a costume to feed his gigantic, insatiable ego. In fact, he's been seen wearing several! Pick a look! Maybe each suit serves a different purpose. Oh, what? Like granting him obnoxious sonic powers, web spray, holographic duplicates? Give me a break. Listen, citizen, the police play by the book. Spider-Man, he plays by his own rules. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Rune Ragnarok. This one is a sandbox-style open-world RPG set in a Norse universe. We have only seen alpha gameplay at this point, but it really looks like a lot of fast-paced fighting in the style of Witcher or maybe Fallout. While it may be a ways away from full release, the early access is rumored to begin this month in September on PC. Red Dead Redemption 2 Rockstar Games has made a fortune off of Grand Theft Auto, and it has been years since they blessed us with a new game. That wait is over now with one of the most highly anticipated games of 2018. Red Dead Redemption was an open world adventure game that was basically Grand Theft Auto set in the Wild West, and this sequel promises to add more to that world on PS4 and Xbox One this October 26th. Confrontations can be escalated or diffused. Take it easy. Do what you want. I don't care. You can form friendships. God, you did. Or make enemies as you choose. You killed my cousin, you sick son of a bitch. Your actions have consequences, and it's up to you to decide just how honorable Arthur is. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? <laughs> and much more, including the evolution of sharpshooting using the Dead Eye system. Darksiders 3. With two games in the series now, this hack and slash RPG adventure game has cemented itself in the hearts of many gamers, and those fans have waited patiently for this game to finally arrive. The game will play much like the previous games and will release on PS4, Xbox One, and PC this November 27th. <laughs> Perhaps there are human survivors. Not my concern. Outer Wilds. This game looks like it truly helps define what an open world game is capable of. 
It plays as an exploration adventure game and is all about discovering new areas, which change with the passage of time. One day you might explore a hidden temple underground, and the next it could be buried in sand, only to reveal a new location that the sand has moved away from. If this sounds like a game you'd love to explore, check it out when it arrives on PC before the end of the year. And we're just in space. All of the planets are smaller than real planets, so mm. traveling between them is actually fairly quick, so yeah. travel times aren't really an issue with the 20-minute thing. Um, Wesley here is flying us towards the Hourglass Twins, which are actually two planets orbiting each other, Ember Twin and Ash Twin. And they change over time in the sense that sand actually flows from one planet to the other planet over the course of those 20 minutes, mm. hence the Hourglass Twins. Sure. Metro Exodus. You may not know this, but the Metro series is actually based on a series of novels by Dmitry Glukovsky, and Exodus is now the third game to be released in this game series. You play in a first-person shooter style game with survival horror and stealth elements. Fight your way against the mutated creatures when it releases on February 22nd, 2019. ...in order to survive. The Volga level is many times larger than the most expansive level in Last Light and is indicative of the new sandbox survival gameplay mechanic in Exodus. A critical narrative path is always there to follow, but these wild, open environments offer countless locations to explore and unique encounters for those who dare to venture off the beaten track. As with any Metro title, Exodus places the onus on the player to choose how they progress. Days Gone Chances are, you have already experienced some of the hype around this open world zombie game. The videos we have seen of gameplay show scenes of literal hordes of zombies coming at you, just one person with a big gun. It looks like the feeling of mowing down a giant group of zombies will probably feel awesome, just like the feeling when you take down a large group of enemies in a Dynasty Warriors game. Find out more when it releases exclusively on PS4, February 22nd, 2019. Anthem. In the beginning, the gods harnessed the power of the Anthem, a world-building power that allowed them to craft the universe and everything in it. However, soon after starting, the gods stopped mid-construction and left, never to be seen again. Now, gigantic monsters roam the lands and it's up to the Freelancers, a group of fighters who have built exosuits with the powers of gods left behind to fight these creatures. Join the fight for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, February 22nd, 2019. In the top right hand corner of the screen, you can see our objective is to find all six echoes and take them to the shape interface. So up ahead, Scylla has one on his back in the Colossus, and here you can see Jen has two. So Scylla just put one in, when we get these, and that'll be three out of six, and we're halfway done. The only problem now is we have to go through those troops in the middle to find the rest. Crackdown 3 If you followed the development of Crackdown 3 at all, you might know that it was originally supposed to release back in 2016. However, after many delays, the game is now set to release and with new features to the open world action adventure game that you've come to love. For example, bosses over areas you destroy will now send people after you and eventually come after you themselves at any time and any place. If you're an Xbox Game Pass subscriber, the game will be free for you when it launches on Xbox One and PC in February of 2019. Yes, so one of our key goals with Crackdown is so that every playthrough feels personal. It exactly, feels like yeah. the game was reacting to the choices you made. Love that. And the feedback system that you talked about a little bit, as you see in the game, you'll see all this beautiful digital signage. So the game takes place in kind of a near futuristic city. Uh, so you got this great kind of digital signage. And that is the way for the, you know, the captains, the lieutenants, they're going to come and find you where you are, and they're going to threaten you right to your face using that signage. So, uh, The Sinking City. The many worlds inspired by HP Lovecraft have grown immensely in the past few years, and this game definitely fits into that category. 
You play in an open world adventure game as an investigator who just moved to the area and finds it flooded with both water and mystery. Start your investigation March 21st, 2019 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. is almost drained of blood. The head is missing, so I can't be sure if it's hairy or not. Shinmu 3. There's a good chance you have never played a Shinmu game, but if you have, you probably loved it. The fan base for these games are actually responsible for this action adventure game with some life simulation elements being made. The first two games, though being very well received, were some of the priciest games ever to be made at the time, and actually were considered to be commercial failures. Jump to now, and a Kickstarter campaign raised $2 million in just two hours and maxed out at $6 million total, breaking records once again. Play the newest game in this series, August 27th, 2019. Little Devil Inside. With this game we come to another open world survival game, but in this game with a unique art style, you will be trying to stay alive while researching new monsters and going into the deadly places they live, then retreating back to the safe city that you will report your findings to. The game was a massive success on Kickstarter, and you can expect the game late 2019 for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. It also met conditions for Wii U support, so that could be a possibility too. Or maybe we'll see a Switch release. Grand Blue Fantasy Project Relink. Grand Blue Fantasy is a game for iOS and Android that plays as a turn based RPG. Now, Platinum Games, the people who brought you such masterpieces as Bayonetta and Nier Automata, are bringing this game into the 3D world with an open world RPG for the PlayStation 4. The game is still in its early phases, but we can hope for a 2019 release. <laughs> Jaws of Extinction The zombie genre has been done and redone, and somehow it keeps on going. In this game, you play in a survival horror RPG where you must craft and cook and learn to survive. It truly will test your ability to think on your feet and find ways to stay alive while also keeping hordes of undead away. We can expect it to release sometime in 2019 for PC. East Shade. 
This game looks and sounds more unique than many games in the past decade. Think Pokemon Snap meets Skyrim. You play in a medieval open world one-fifth the size of Skyrim, and instead of fighting, you paint. You can choose the image that you see and make a painting of it. The game will feature a large amount of side quests and with no real main storyline to truly immerse you in the open world. No official date as of yet, but hopefully we will see it next year sometime, releasing on PC and eventually consoles too. I see you're a painter. I'm quite partial to sandy beaches. This is splendid. It will be the prized piece of my sitting room. If you haven't got lodging for the night, feel free to stay at the inn. I'll leave the upstairs room unlocked for you. Biomutant. Set in an open world action RPG, the animals in this game are not the kind you keep as pets. These mutated critters must set out on a quest to clean the tree of life of the oil that has begun to kill it. There will be a butterfly effect system in place as you join one of six tribes, or none at all, and the game will release on PS4, Xbox One, and PC sometime in 2019. Oh, he forgot one thing. The contraption he rigged to deadbolt the door triggered after you came in. You need to take care of that. Perhaps you should give the crowbar another try. <laughs> Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. Zoom. Greedfall. Do you like games set in colonial times? What about magic? Do you enjoy magic? Then this game is perfect for you. The game takes place on an island that has been discovered with natives who practice a form of druid magic that allows them to control nature. The game plays as an open world game similar to Fallout or Elder Scrolls, and you will have the ability to take whichever side you want those of the natives or those of the intruders who want to take the island for themselves. You decide on PS4, Xbox One, and PC next year sometime. You know, you, the idea is that you will learn about this world and discover bits about the factions and then you will make decisions of, on who you'd like to be allied with and not allied with um, depending on their kind of philosophy. Okay. Which I like. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's very, very interesting. And, you know, diplomacy being... A key part has intrigued me. Yeah, I know. Yeah, and I think that, um, that, that I mean one of the other things I, um, about the game is that the the idea is that you know no kind of RPG fetch quests. There's not going to be like you know go and collect five apples for us. Big or, fan of that. Or anything. Yeah. So the the idea is that it's all kind of story and character driven, and that the game has um, uh, they're calling it like nodal narrative. I think is the term that they use. Uh, but the idea being that. Uh, there are this complicated kind of branching of possibilities depending on the choices that you make with the various factions. Identity. This game looks absolutely ridiculous. It's an MMORPG, so you'll be playing it online, and basically it's an open world life simulator. You can buy land, get a job, own a vehicle, and explore every inch of the 225 square kilometer map. Or you can take the train around, stay jobless, and just sell meth that you made in your trailer on the edge of town. Oh, but a group of policemen are here, and they too are players in this game. This is their job. It's literally a live sim, and I am so ready to play. As of right now, the game has no expected release date, but you can actually sign up right now and play parts of the game early that are already available. It'll release exclusively on PC. Get out now. I will shoot. We were making Smurf Berry smoothies, officer. Hey, you, you got a gang? You looking for one? You need a shank? That's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want to see a part two, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more like this in the future, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to know as soon as I upload. You can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those links are in the description. 
That's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone have a great life.